Kelly Rizzo has moved out of the home she shared with her late husband, Bob Saget. In an Instagram QA Wednesday, Rizzo, 42, confirmed she has moved and gave an update on how she's been since Saget's unexpected death Jan. 9. So, yes, I moved, you figured it out, Rizzo said in an Instagram video after reports surfaced that she was selling her Brentwood home. Rizzo went on to share how her day-to-day -day has been, saying each day has its own personality. I'll have a day this week that is way worse than a day from a month ago. Some days are okay. Some are sad, but, usually, every day has a little bit of everything, she said. Rizzo is settling into her new home in Hollywood and shared that the move helps me to curate a lot of Bob things that are around me that remind me of him. She said that adding some of Saget's personal belongings in her new space has been comforting and therapeutic. The Eat Travel Rock host shared a quick glimpse of her new kitchen. She explained the cabinets will be painted blue, which to her is very cheery and bright. On the counter was a picture of her and her late husband. Rizzo even shared intimate details of the duo's engagement story, showed off a tattoo she has in honor of Saget and a new necklace with a B initial that a friend gifted her. The new widow shared that feeling grateful for what I did have with Saget has helped her get through the day-to-day -day grieving. And what I still have. And not feeling like I lost my husband, but feeling like I still have him. It's just a different relationship. Rizzo went on to give credit to Bob's incredible daughters, Aubrey, Jennifer and Lara. I love them more than anything. I am so grateful for them, and, couldn't imagine not having them. Rizzo's QA ended on an emotional note with a fan asking what she missed about Saget. Hugging him, she said somberly. Damn it now it hit me again. Saget was found dead Jan. 9 in a Florida hotel room. The 65-year-old had performed in the area as part of his stand-up tour. In February, a medical examiner announced the comedian died from an accidental blow to the head, likely from a backward fall. A toxicology analysis didn't show any illicit drugs or toxins in Saget's body, according to a statement from medical examiner Joshua Stephanie in Orlando. An autopsy report showed that Saget had an abrasion on his scalp, a fracture at the base of his skull, fractures around his eye sockets, bleeding between the brain and tissue covering the brain as well as bruises to the brain. Saget was positive for COVID-19 but had no inflammation in his respiratory system, according to the report. Rizzo has since stood by the medical examiner's report after one crew member claimed the late Full House star didn't feel good the night he died. The records released tell the entire story, that is, Bob passed away after a fall and hitting his head in his hotel room, Brian H. Bieber, the Saget family attorney, said in a statement sent to Fox News Digital in March on behalf of Rizzo. Now that the medical examiner's and police department's records have been released after their respective thorough investigations, the Saget family would appreciate privacy to mourn in peace, the statement concluded. Rosalie Ann Coxie, who worked as a runner for the comic, told the Orange County Sheriff's Office in Florida that Saget told her he was recovering from long-term COVID. The showrunner also said Saget revealed he had been sick the night before.